Did your friends do you dirty? Well, it's time for revenge. I'm going to show you the funniest way to prank your friends in Minecraft. So here's how we're gonna prank noob one, two, three, four. I've got trap chests. We're gonna place these down just like so. Oh, I almost just pranked myself. But once he opens this, he is going to fall down into the dangerous pit of lava down below. So I'm gonna put a diamond in the chest because come on, noobs will do anything even for one diamond. And then we are going to put the sign over here. Obviously it's going to say free diamond. I mean, I pretty much don't think we have to put anything else in there. I mean, I guess we could put in there by Preston Styles merch and perfect. There is no way he's going to be able to resist this. Now all we have to do is wait for noob one, two, three, four to log back on. Oh, he just logged online. There he is. What's he doing? What is he looking at? Oh, he's going... Oh, I shoot. I forgot to shut his door after I opened it. To be honest, I don't think he's going to notice it. And I also technically fixed his roof up. But yeah, it's, it's going to be great. He's going to be happy with it. Come on, noob. Come on. Oh, oh, he sees it. He's taking the bait. He is 100% going to take the bait. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes! We got him, ladies and gentlemen! Noob1234 has been pranked! But I'm not satisfied yet. We still need more revenge. I created this extremely easy parkour so that he would take the bait because at the end right here, I'm gonna place down all the eight diamond blocks, but beneath here on the pressure plates are going to be TNT. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, right below the pressure plates. There's no way he's gonna see this. I'm telling you, he probably doesn't even look where he's jumping. I just hope he's gonna be able to do the parkour, but it's literally made for the world's biggest noob. So we're gonna place down all of these diamond blocks where he cannot resist them. Oh, and I almost forgot. We gotta place the TNT right here at the end. TNT! Plank! And then I'm even changing the pressure plate at the end just in case he catches on from the other one so it's spruce and it matches. Now we lie and wait for Noob to log on. Oh, well, hello there, Noob1234. If you finish this parkour, I shall give you all the diamond blocks at the end. Oh my gosh, I just typed like an entire essay so fast. <laughs> the question is, will he take the bait? Come on, noob, come on. Look at this guy. Is he from the UK? He says, what? Oh, he's doing it. He's doing... No, okay. Look, if you're going to fall off, there's no way he can... There oh, gosh. Have I made the parkour too difficult? There's no way. This is so easy that even Brianna could do it. He's making it. Oh, 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 he's sprinting. Oh, there's no way he's going to see the last one, though. He might have gotten... Does he not have his sound on? He didn't even turn around. He didn't even turn around to hear the explosion. Oh my gosh, this guy. <laughs> yes, perfect execution, baby. Before we get into this prank, guys, I need you to do me a favor, take your phone, turn it like this, make that red subscribe button gray so we can continue to prank this noob. For this prank, I've set up a village, but it's not actually a village. It is a default village that I actually built myself. Yes, I went very extra on this prank, but I've got three monsters that noob1234 definitely does not know that they even exist in Minecraft. So I'm gonna have him build a snow golem. I'm gonna have him build an iron golem. And then I'm also going to have him build a super golem, AKA a wither. Oh, here he is guys. Yes, yes. Oh, here he goes. Come on, craft the first one. You can do it, newbie. Oh, is he gonna do it? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? At least I've got two other, wait, oh, he broke it? He realized his mistake? Yeah, he did it. Let's go. So by now, he's probably thinking these creatures are cute and friendly and sweet. But there's uh, there's more. There's two more over here. Okay, I actually misspelled. Do not say anything in the chat or the comments below. Yes, perfect. Oh, put the pumpkin down. Make the iron golem. Come on, craft it. Yes, yes. Oh, he, he missed. Uh, did no work? No, no, I'm pretty sure you're also using the wrong... You're using a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, gosh. Is he moving on? Okay, he's gonna move... Oh, no, this is it, dude. Oh, the super golem prank. Oh, he's doing it. I can't believe he's actually gonna place that. No, there's no way he doesn't know the spawns of Wither. No, no. Oh, my gosh, dude. Why did you... <laughs> what have you done, noob? What have you done? No, 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 no. You gotta find him. You gotta find him. Oh my gosh, he's... <laughs> okay, you know what? Now I'm, I'm getting out of here. Okay, now we are going to run so far away from here. Otherwise, the wither is going to come and attack us. This prank is so elaborate, I had to bring on a brand new friend just to help me script it out. It's crazy. 
His name is Floopy. Can we please get some comments and likes down below for Floopy? Floopy, by the way, is available on Amazon. No, not him in specific, but you can get the slime he's made out of. Do you guys see Noob1234's name tag up here? He is currently trying to mine with a wooden pickaxe to find diamonds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lure him down here to this beautiful spot. He's gonna mine this diamond, drop down here. Whenever Noob1234 mines this area in the hidden treasure vault, he is going to fall to his death. As you can see, that is a very long fall and it's not going to be very nice on Noob's legs. He doesn't have those swaggy sneakers of his, so he's going to take a lot of damage. Come on, take the bait. Take it. Yes, yes, he's taking the bait. This is perfect. This is perfect. Come on. Yes, he's on the hook. He is on the hook, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Hansel and Gretel style. We just need him to lead all the way here to the diamonds. Oh, he wants diamonds so bad. Look at him in the chat. He's freaking out. Okay, I just gave him seven diamonds, but when he sees these, he's not going to be able to resist. No, 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 no. Wait. Use this. Homie, you cannot mine diamonds with a wooden pickaxe. You need an iron pickaxe. Yes, I will take that. Go ahead. Mine it. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh my gosh, is he gonna take the diamonds? He's freaking out right now. He's like, I have never found this many diamonds in my entire life. Oh, he's gonna do it. No, no. Oh! <laughs> this worked out perfectly. Good job, Floopy. We got that noob. So Noob1234 mentioned to me earlier that he wanted to try to go to the nether and survive, but I told him it's a bad idea and he shouldn't do that because he's a noob and noobs die in the nether way too easy. So I told him he could only go into the nether if he let me build him a secure nether base. But what he doesn't know is that beds in the nether will explode and instead of setting your spawn point and helping you out, they actually will kill you. I'm gonna put tons of beds over here so when he gets to the nether and he's ready to rest, and set his spawn point, he is going to explode. Now that we've got our beds, let's place them down like this. Oh, I'm excited for this prank. I actually managed to get my wife Brianna with this prank when she first started playing Minecraft because she was a noob and had no idea beds would explode on impact. And for this prank, I, I, I miss Floopy. Let's get Floopy back on the mic. Floopy, what do you think of this prank? 10 out of 10. See, this is why we all love Floopy. Way more supportive than Diglett. Oh my gosh, he came to the nether in leather? Dude, why did you not put on the iron gear I gave you? This is your base, you goofball. Oh, I can't, I can't. Hopefully he just climbs up. Come on, come up the ladder, bro. Here he comes. Oh, come on. Take the bed, take the bed. He's looking at them. Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> that could not have worked any better. See, Floopy knows what's up. If there's one thing we all know about noobs, what is it, Floopy? You are absolutely correct, Floopy. Not only do they like shiny things, but in specific, they like treasure. I mean, he's kind of fallen for like two diamond pranks already. So he clearly really likes shiny things that also includes treasure. I'm going to be helping the noob find the treasure room. But of course... There's a prank twist. We've got two tripwire hooks. We just gotta place them down like this, put some string in the middle, and what's going to happen is we have this giant lightning rod conductor on the outside. So when he hits the tripwire, it's actually going to trigger a lightning event and should, in theory, take out our noob friend or enemy. I haven't decided. He's he's cute, but he's kind of our, our enemy, but also kind of our friend, but also annoying. So... I don't know what to call him yet. And by the way, the correct path of the maze, I don't know if he's gonna catch on to this, is actually the white stained glass. The incorrect path is the gray stained glass. Um, it looks like he's doing a pretty good job at staying on the correct path. No, 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 no. That's the wrong, no, no, wrong way. Look up at the white stained glass, ya noob. Dude, he's looking up the entire... No, no, no. Okay, uh, other, w other way. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's not even gonna see the tripwire hook because he's looking straight up at the sky. Oh no. Oh no! He's here! Oh! <laughs> Dude, this actually works way too well. If you've ever set these one up in Minecraft, you know they normally work, but like it's a clear day and somehow we managed to attract that much lightning. I gotta rate this prank a nine out of 10 because it took me way too long to build this maze, okay? 
Okay, I'll be the first person to admit it, but I think we've all fallen for this prank at some point in time in Minecraft. Maybe we were playing a dropper map, or maybe our friends just trolled us. But this looks like water. It's not. I have stained glass and then lapis below it. And, uh, but from the top over there, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. I promise you that. Here, I will show you. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but that looks like water to me. And I even have my render distance set at 16, which is technically really far. And I, uh, I may or may not be clickbaiting the noob with, uh, 100% safe signs, but, uh, you know, we're just not... Just don't tell him. Don't spoil the prank. Now, what the noob doesn't know won't hurt him. Actually, it's going to hurt him. But there is a water source block in the bottom left-hand corner of this. So I'm going to demonstrate a safe skydiving maneuver. So that way he follows me. But unfortunately... He's not going to be seeing the water source. Oh, don't look down. No, no, no. Don't. When you look down, it's a it's a bad decision. Okay, time to skydive. Dis not safe. Prove it. Ah, ha, ha. This is exactly why we put in that hidden water source block, just to prove that it is 100% safe. So we just got to line it up, fall down, hopefully make it into the water source block. Perfect. Now, oh my gosh, look at him up there. He's doing it. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't right now. That was perfect. So I'm thinking we start with the first prank here. This is the garden wither prank. This is going to be amazing. Okay, here it is. Do, 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 do. I love flowers. I actually have done a really good job keeping these alive. I'm very impressed with myself. And like over here, I have red ones, I have yellow and purple. I have done, I'm gonna pat myself on the back actually. Bree's just tending to her flowers. Oh, look, she looks so cute. Wait, oh no, wait, I was singing to you. Hey, flowers, I was singing to you. So the flowers actually turned to wither flowers and she's withering no, away. No. She has no idea what just happened. I bet she's probably just thinking, why did my flowers turn against me? Well, Bree, your flowers didn't. It was all me. <laughs> Bree's probably not too happy that I just changed her flowers all to wither, except for the fact that she doesn't know it was me because I'm in my secret control room. This next one is going to trap her, and she hate when I trap her in Minecraft, so let's see how she reacts to this one. You don't need to be too impressed, but welcome to my house. It's beautiful. I'm gonna go inside and show you. I'm gonna give you a tour. There it is. Yes. Go. There it is. Hey, beautiful! Ah! Oh my gosh! Guys, what happened to the floor? There's also cobwebs. Oh! I swear I cleaned my house. Wait, how far was that drop? Oh my gosh. Look, she's just stuck there in cobwebs and lava. Oh, this is just sad. She was probably just going back inside to go get some flowers or something like that to fix her garden. And instead, she's drowned in, in lava. Apparently there was lava under my house, guys. Don't let that happen to you at home. Okay, so floor traps are kind of old school, but I bet you've never seen this prank. This is the slime bounce prank. And I'm not even gonna be able to explain exactly what this is gonna do because it's so crazy, so awesome. And speaking of awesome, you should buy my Preston Styles Fire Merch. It's the hottest merch in the game. Link in the description. And let's get this slime bounce prank, baby. So I love my favorite records, but I can't tell you about my embarrassing music. But look at this view, it's so pretty out here. Come on, here it is. Yes! My house, where am I going? Ah! Oh my gosh. So what I did is I turned her house to slime really fast. And by the time she got to the air, it turned back into a regular house. Thus, she died from fall damage. She probably has no idea what's going on right now and is just thinking her house is like kind of malfunctioning or something. But in reality, I'm just being a sneaky snake. Pretty insane, right? Have you ever seen that before in Minecraft? Not a chance is the answer. So this next one is the nether portal prank. So I need you guys to bear with me for a second. I love the nether and I love portals. So let's get it, baby. So I hate to brag everybody, but there is literally a portal outside of my house. 
A whole new world is just sitting here like a magic carpet from Aladdin. It just takes me to a whole new world. Do you want to see it? She has no idea. I didn't even know she could build another portal. To be honest, I'm really impressed because I didn't think she could even build one of these, but apparently she has. So I made sure to go in already and make the preparations. Oh! Oh! oh wait! I don't think I'm supposed she, to go down she here! She just walked out! She didn't even check! Guys, the number one rule in Minecraft is first of all, you never dig straight down. Second of all, always watch your footing in the nether because you might fall in lava or fall down a giant hole your husband prepared for you and you'll lose all your diamonds. In Minecraft, you never want to lose your diamonds. It's the most important thing ever. So the nether prank's been done before, but I bet you've never seen this one. This is the pet wolf prank. Brianna loves animals so much, so she might be really mad about this one, but I don't care. We gotta do it. Bree, I got a present for you. Oh, I'm so glad. It's been a bad day. What? Really? What's been happening? I've had the strangest things happening to me all day. I've died. I've fallen out of the world. I don't know what's going on. Well, don't worry, Bree. I promise this will make your day 100 bajillion times better. Almost as good as Preston Styles Fire Merch. Check it out. <gasps> a dog! It's a wolf, Bree. It's Stanley. Oh, it's Stanley. I love him. Did you really think he was a dog? Oh, a wolf is a dog, right? Can I love Okay, him? well, Bree, here. You need a leash, right? Because wolves oh, are kind of okay. crazy, and you're going to need a treat because Stanley, oh. he's a good boy. He's very loyal. Okay. Come here, wolfie. Just like that, Bree. You got to get a little closer, a little closer. I love there you, you go. wolfie. Wait, what's you guys <laughs> No, he loves you, Bree. Bree, he loves you. That's just, oh, it shows affection. He's <laughs> slaying me. Sorry, Bree. I think I'm just going to take him what? back. He just loves me more. Okay, so that prank was kind of rude, but also at the same time hilarious. This next one is also a little bit derude, but it's so funny, guys. Check it out. I have had the worst day ever, and I love animals like more than anything in the entire world. And it betrayed me. So I'm just going to sit by my fireplace and relax. So, wait, the fire. The fire's going wrong. Someone help me. Someone the fire help me. is spreading oh, no. everywhere. Help. I put extra gunpowder in the fire. That way this would happen. Oh, my gosh. I should feel bad. Okay. You know what? After all of these pranks, we might have to do another video where we give 15 gifts to my wife in Minecraft. So I feel pretty bad about what I've been doing to Brianna, so I may or may not have a fake present that we're gonna be giving to her. I just, just trust me, it's gonna be great. Wait for it, there it is. Aw, Preston got me a present. Oh, he's been doing this the whole time? I should have known it, I deserve this gift. You know what? Thanks, Preston, but no thanks at the same time, because I've had a horrible day. Puffer fish! Yes, she opened it! Oh my gosh! What the heck, Preston? No, they're scary! I, no! Preston, there are more pranks! Guys, I feel like I have started to outdo myself with these pranks in Minecraft. If you haven't already left a like, Smash that like button and let's get into the next one. After all the puffer fish nonsense, Bree is probably ready to take a bath. I know Bree, when things get stressful, she likes to take a bath, but I've got something else in plan for her bathtub. Let me just go ahead and go over here. I don't want Bree to be able to see me. The way that I like to de-stress is to take a bubble bath. It has been a very long day and I am very tired of all this nonsense that Preston is causing me. Hello? Wait, what's happening to my bathtub? Unfortunately, I unscrewed the lever and her entire house is now flooded. Poor Brianna's house, man. It has been burned, turned to slime. There's been puffer fish and now the entire house is flooding. It's literally all flooding. Preston, I'm gonna die if you keep me in here for long. Preston, I see you. I know you're doing this to me. Hi, Brie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, she's just swimming away. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my gosh, her entire house is covered in water. Sometimes it's hard being an official prankster. But wait, there's more. This next prank is the ultimate sand trap prank, which you've probably pulled on your friends a couple of times while playing Minecraft, but nothing like this one. I don't even feel safe in my own home anymore. I don't think that I should go in this house. I mean, I have been drowned in, if that's a word. I have been set on fire. I have had fish come to eat me. I think that I should just stand in the pretty flowers and in the grass and wait, what was that? Oh! <laughs> Look at how much sand there is. I don't even remember buying this much sand, guys, but the local villager that I got it from had a lot of stock and he was selling at wholesale prices. So I figured, why the heck not? Let's just buy way too much. And I definitely think we have way too much. And of course, a pranking video wouldn't be a pranking video without a charged creeper prank. So I need to grab this and quickly go hide it in the attic. Oh yes, this is the perfect place to hide the charged creeper. Okay, let me unmute real quick. Oh, Bree, I need you upstairs really fast. I stubbed my toe again and I can't get it out. Oh. You know what, you guys? I bet that is a secret code for I'm sorry. So I'm gonna run up there and Preston's for sure gonna be apologizing. Oh, wait, is this Preston? What is that? Whoa! Was uh, that please. your toe? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you could say it was my toe, my big charged creeper toe. Brianna loves chickens almost more than she loves me. Sometimes it kind of creeps me out. You've probably seen in our real life videos, we have chicken statues everywhere. Kind of creepy, but that's okay because I have chicken bombs and Bria is not going to expect this. So let's ring the doorbell. Somebody's at the door. I bet it's Preston saying he's Bri, sorry. it's me. Oh, Look, I got you eggs. We can grow our own organic chickens and we won't eat them. Just their eggs, okay? How about you come right here in the kitchen? Yeah, just like okay. that. Okay. And then just, yeah, yeah, don't look. No, no, don't look. I'm and then here is your surprise, Bree. Chuckles! Hi! Chickens! Baby don't chicken. you love them? I love <laughs> them. Preston! Bring the chickens! They're explosive robot I chickens! Love them. <laughs> okay, Bree, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. I can't be around all these chickens. I'm actually allergic. Bye! That's my favorite way to die so far. Bree's rebuilt her house out of bedrock, but that's not gonna stop me from pranking her because this is the lightning rod prank. I know how much Bree loves emeralds, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle them out like this. Just a couple of emeralds, because Bree loves, I mean, what girl and what Minecrafter doesn't love emeralds? You guys, I have had a very long, very stressful day, and now it's been even longer because I had to completely renovate my house. It is now bedrock because it is impenetrable. Why is he dropping out there? Those are really pretty. Actually, okay. Now nothing can happen to my house. So like if I just run out and get a couple really pretty things, my house will be fine because it, it, it's upgraded. So I'm going to run really fast. And got her. Let's go. <laughs> there was not even a thunderstorm going on. I don't know how lightning just appeared out of nowhere. I can't believe that one worked. I wasn't too sure if it was going to work, but I'm just going to take my emeralds back because I got a lot of villager trades to be making with these bad boys. That one was pretty good, but I think it's time that we do something to Brianna's new house. I have this very specialized pickaxe where I traded over a thousand emeralds for it. It is the bedrock obliterator. It can destroy even the toughest of materials. So while Bree thinks she's safe in her house, She's never safe. I have upgraded my house again, and there's no way he can get in this. It's been upgraded to an even fancier type of bedrock, and I mean, there's no way he is getting in here. And I need, at some point today, get some shut-eye, because I have just been, hello? Oh, hold on, let me just go ahead and destroy a little bit more of your house. I've worked really hard getting my house perfect, and you need to calm down. There we go. <laughs> This pickaxe is crazy. Look, we can literally break through anything with this. You know what? I think we've done enough damage. 
I think this will teach Bree a lesson that you can never keep out Preston Blaze. If there's one thing Brianna hates, it's termites. Well, in specific, she just doesn't like bugs, which I understand most girls don't like bugs. So I have decided to purchase a lot of block eating termites because they are going to do something very naughty to Bree's house. Well, the bedrock did not help any, so I thought pink was prettier anyway. So it's back to how it used to be. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go downstairs and What are you doing? Hey Bree! What, what are those bugs? They're kind of cute. Those into my house? Well, Bree, Kill that's it. because they're Kill termites. It. Kill it! Bree, don't you dare! Bree, no. Okay, you know what, Bree? You have a fun time exterminating that. I'm just gonna go outside and I I'm just gonna watch the show. Them. Oh my gosh! They're not only eating the house, Bree, they're eating the grass. Good luck with getting rid of those. And for our finale prank, it wouldn't be a pranking video if you didn't use TNT. So of course we've got TNT and a secret button that has teleported us into Brianna's basement, where we are going to fill this in entire place with TNT. She's probably just upstairs taking a nap or something. And I think that should do it, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> Preston, why oh. are you in my house again? Do not I'm gonna do, do it. anything with this I'm TNT. Do it. No, well, okay, I have had enough with you. But what if you call me your majesty? for the rest of your life, then I won't light it on fire. No, what if you call me your majesty for the rest of your life? Okay, that's it, I'm setting your house on fire! No! Oh, Listen, yeah! please, no! <laughs> Hold on guys, let me go and close my secret lever to my secret entrance of my secret trolling platform. Little does she know, there's about to be a lot of acid raining down on her house and uh, it's gonna be kind of chaotic. I don't even really wanna explain what it does cause uh, I'll just let you guys see for yourself. Oh, there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> oh my goodness, wait, what is this? Oh, my flowers need some rain. Oh, that's uh, perfect. Brianna, I don't know this if so this nice. is the rain you are looking for, oh, okay? I love it. Brianna, look, oh, I'm look so around you. What's happening? Brianna, look at your house. Look at your roof. Wait, is something happening bad to my Brianna, house? Brianna, tell <gasps> Oh, no. I just did you died. Just die? Did you just die? <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, so how's your house looking, Brie? <laughs> um, wait, Preston? Yeah, Bree, your um, your 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 house and your entire surrounding area is looking a little bit holy. Preston, I would say. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. I don't want you to see my house this way. Well, well I, I mean, here, technically, here. it's it's what, what? Let me fix I, it. Let me fix it. Okay, like. Uh, Brianna, I don't know if you could fix what has just happened to you. Okay, this is. Oh my God, Bree, your entire house <gasps> is literally being eaten. It's, it's going by, away. Like I'm gonna die before I feel like I'm supposed to be able to middle click, and it's supposed to give me the block I need, and it's not working. No, you goofball. That's only if you're in creative. <laughs> oh no, Preston, my house is going to just die. My whole house is gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bree. Look. Did you have some? Something to do with this, Mister? No, 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 no. This is this is very typical. So, guys, if you didn't know, Brand is pretty new to Minecraft and video games in general. So, if you could please affirm her in the comments that acid rain in Minecraft is a very natural and a common occurrence, that would be greatly appreciated. So, Are Brianna, you I'm sure? sorry. Yes, acid rain is very common in Minecraft. Um, and Brianna, I I have to say, huh. it looks like to me your days might be numbered here <gasps> oh, in just a little no! bit. <laughs> Troll number one went perfectly. Now we got prank number two. This is a legitimate flamethrower. I mean, guys, just check this bad boy out. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that in here, guys. Uh oh, I've got, oh, they put that out, put some fires out, no big deal. Okay, don't fire, don't you spread. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Brianna is down here right now. I think she's covering her roof with obsidian. I think because of the acid rain from her last house. And then I, okay, guys, I'm still hearing some, hold on, where's this? Okay, no, fire, stop spreading. Fire, stop, there we go, okay. Now that I put out the flames, let's go see what Brianna's up to. Brianna, what are you doing? Hi, Preston. Look. <laughs> what? Look what I'm what doing. What is this? 
I'm what, proofing the house. Did you see? You were there. You saw all that acid rain? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> It, obsidian's really strong, so if I put it all on top of the roof, I think I'll be okay. I mean, honestly, I gotta say, for being a beginner of Minecraft, this is looking like a very nice roof. And you're probably yeah. right, to be honest. I mean, you know, obsidian is probably a really good defense against obsidian like this. So you're a very, very smart wife, and I really appreciate you. But why Thank don't you, you do me... Do me a favor here. Why don't you come show me your new house? Like, you haven't oh. even showed the viewers yet. You spent all this time building this new two-story house, which, by the way, I gotta take my glasses off because this house looks so beautiful. It's even got, like, a little purple tint. How did you get the wood to well, look like this? Well, it's I like... Thank you. You know what? It's, like, slightly purple. To be honest with you, a builder doesn't reveal all their secrets. Oh, okay. What are you, are you trying to pretend like you're a magician or something? I mean, I just, purple's my favorite color and I can't have you copying me, you know? Fine, fine. Okay, I won't copy you. Can I at least get a tour of the house, of though? Of course. Come into my humble abode. Now, Preston, you have to make me one promise, though, if I'm going to show you in here. Uh, okay. You have to wipe your toes. Make sure your feet are clean okay. and make sure you don't okay. do any right. funny business right. in my right. house. No, no funny business. And what are you trying to say about my toes, girl? Are well, you trying to say they're dirty? You know, I just don't want you to cause any other, you know, acid rains in the house. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Look, I told you the acid rain wasn't me. Everybody in Minecraft who's played it for the last eight years, like I have, knows that acid rain is just a natural event that happens in Minecraft. I just feel like you acted a little weird about it. All right. Well, well, what is this? You got downstairs, it's like your little kitchen area. So you got some furnaces. You got a couple yep. of chests down here. You got some more chests over here. It's kind of odd that you don't got anything in your chest, but who am I to judge? Bree, oh, I is, just what moved is this? In. Is this supposed to, like, is this your, you don't even have a bed for your bed frame yet. Preston, I <laughs> here, just help moved you out. in. Okay, well, let me, let me help you out. I know you like black beds, so boom. Black uh. beds. Yeah, I actually like this now. This looks really, really nice. Doesn't the color scheme fit your house perfectly? Um, I mean, I wasn't going to go for black, <laughs> but I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> so, Bree, I just wanted to show you something. Will you look at me real quick? Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you say one, two, three, like the video? One, two, three, like the video. Oh, thank <gasps> you so much, Bree. <laughs> 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 Protect against flamethrowers. Everybody what? in Minecraft. <laughs> you killed me. How did you die? You to killed that? me. <laughs> Sorry, Bree. Here. You know what? Just to make things a little better, I can teleport you back to your house just so you can watch it burn. Okay? No. <laughs> hey, Bree. All of my hard work is just well, being destroyed. Think about this, Bree. At least. You're not gonna lose your glass. Your glass won't burn, and neither will your obsidian. Just everything else. I feel like you're lying about that. I feel like even my glass is gonna burn. Okay, glass, I don't know where you come from, Brianna, but glass does not burn. Preston! <laughs> now, I can guarantee you guys, you've never seen this prank in Minecraft. I am currently right now a guided missile TNT. Yes, that is right. I am playing as a TNT, and I'm about to crash into Brianna's new house house. Preston, what is that TNT flown around? <laughs> Bree, that's me. I see you have built a beautiful new house. That is not you. That's TNT. No, Bree, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm literally TNT. I promise you right now. Here, I'll prove to you. Whoa, bang! <gasps> oh my <gasps> gosh, not on my new house. Was that my new house? Uh, no, 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 no. That was your old house. That was, that was your old house. What? You've destroyed both of my old houses. No, 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 no. Bri, I, I would never do that to you. Bri, I love you. Don't Bri, be another you. TNT. Bri, I love you. Bri, I love you. Bri, I love you. Almost all my heart took off my house. I'm, Bri, I'm sorry. I didn't even get a look at your new house. All my plumbing is ruined. <laughs> Bree, don't worry, I can fix this. Here, you better, uh, you Preston. might want to move. <laughs> oh. Bree, I gotta say, I don't know how you keep doing it, but your new houses, they look amazing.
amazing. Well, thank you. Like, you keep building a new, bigger, better house each and every time. And I got to say, I am stupendously proud of you right now, Brianna. Well, you know what? I have to be pretty good at building because I have a husband who's good at destroying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guys, am I really somebody who destroys in Minecraft? I feel like, if anything, I'm a healer, not a herder. Okay? I, I mean, I'm not really into that stuff. I'm going to have to d agree to disagree. You're going to agree? Okay, that, no, no, no. Bree, don't, don't say that. Don't, don't, come on. Don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that, Bree. Don't be like that. Here, I got you. Like, I brought you back here just so I could play. Oh, <laughs> ow, my soul. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The next prank, Brianna loves chickens. All right, I don't know why. I mean, chickens make eggs and I like eggs. So I guess I like chickens, but Brianna really likes chicken. So there's no way she's going to say no to this handsome chicken in a suit who is going to be delivering eggs that don't have yolk inside them. Oh no, they contain a wither. Okay, you guys. So because Preston is just so keen on destroying every single house that I've been creating, I have finally made an undestroyable, indestroyable, undestroyable, in and destroyable. Guys, I cannot English today. I do not know what I'm saying, but this is all obsidian, okay? We're gonna make your motion sick. So I don't want Preston to destroy my house because it's hurting my feelings. I've made so many houses now and they've all been acid rained on. They have been fire thrown, I don't know. And they have been exploded by TNT. So it is time for this one to stand tall. So let's go. I'm gonna give you guys a tour and Preston is not gonna be able to take this one down. So welcome. Look how pretty. I've even decorated this one. We have a bookcase. We have a little brewing stand. I use it for coffee and tea. I like both. And then we have a little flowers. We have more books. Cause yes, I like to read. What's your favorite book? And then I have all my clothes. Well, I haven't unpacked yet, guys. It hasn't been that long since Preston, you know, just exploded my house. But all my clothes and everything over here, more flowers and just, you know, a casual lagoon in the middle of my house because I'm extra. I'm being extra in this house because it has to be extra safe. So we're gonna go up this ladder and there's more books more books and just, you know, an enchanted book because you know what? I like the beauty in the Ding beast. dong. <gasps> Do I have a visitor? Ding dong. Okay, okay, I will let you, sir. Um, that says TV and our frags, but that definitely looks like a scary chicken man. Preston, 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 what is that? Preston, what are you doing? Don't throw eggs in my new house. Oh, oh no. Um, nothing. I totally didn't spawn a wither in your house with eggs. What is a wither? I heard you a know. dragon. Preston. Oh, Bree, Bree, you better go in your house. Preston. You better go to your house, what Bree. What is this thing? Um, so that is a wither. That is a wither. You better go in your house. Why would you bring him to my house? I didn't bring him here. He just kind of came here on his own accord. He was in your chicken egg? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <gasps> ah! He's so trying to kill <laughs> Bree, I was just trying to sell you some eggs, okay? How was I supposed to know that there were withers inside of them instead of yolk? Okay, I definitely have never bought an egg at my grocery store with a creepy alien man in it. Okay, you guys. So I know last time I told you my house was unbreakable, but Preston yet again broke my house. So here we have it, the big Finale. This house is bedrock. It's literally unbreakable. Like, he cannot get through this one. So, come on. I'm gonna welcome you in because y'all are gonna hurt me. I trust you. So, come on. It's really pretty. I worked really hard on this one, just like the other ones. So, you hop up on this, you push the button, and woo! Look how cool. It's like our little secret we won't tell Preston. But, look, we have all of these books. We can walk around. I have my shower back here. I thought a lot of this out. Like this one's very detailed. You can go up the ladder here. I 
have my bed up here on a pedestal. On a pedestal. It's pink, Preston, not black. Silly goose. This is my favorite part by far. This huge flat screen TV. Preston cannot break into this this time. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, the final and fifth prank on my wife's house. So, as you can tell, Brianna's got a pretty safe and secure house. She's built it out of bedrock. She thinks it's safe. She's probably even mentioned it to you guys that it's safe. But let me tell you something, that house ain't safe. We had some special fireworks made that are made just to break bedrock. So why don't we go try these out on Brianna's new bedrock house, shall we? Hey, Bree, nice new house you got. Hey, Preston, I see you want to visit. You know what? I feel pretty secure this time. It's made of bedrock. No matter what you do, go ahead because it's unbreakable, literally. Okay. Okay, you know what? I understand. I understand. Don't yeah. worry about what I'm putting yeah. down, by you know the way. What? Don't 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 worry about it. I don't think worry about it's it. It's kind of rude, but you know what? Go ahead. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean it's rude? It's How rude. is this rude? It's rude. No. I mean, when I go in your house, I don't, you know, just try to explode everything. But you know what? Hey. <laughs> You've never even been inside of one of my houses, okay? So how would you know, huh? I mean, how would if you know? I did go in one of your houses, I sure wouldn't just try to explode everything, Preston. Uh, that sounds like what somebody who would like to explode my house would say. Definitely not. Uh, okay, all right. You know, just Bree, just go ahead and stand in there for a little bit longer for me, will you, girl? Ah, uh, man, I'm gonna I'm do one solid. of these. Oh man, I got such a beautiful. What the? Did I just hear a zombie? Guys, I think I just heard a zombie. Um, I'm scared. Hello? Oh, oh, why are there zombies here? Wait, no, 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 no. Why are there zombies? And why did I not make a sword? Oh my gosh. Josh, was that you? This is my revenge, Preston. What are you doing on my server? Wait, oh my gosh, why are you why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? This is my revenge. Why are you doing this? Why is he breaking? How are zombies breaking? I swear zombies are not supposed to be able to break houses like this. What the heck is going on? No, 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 he's breaking my house, Josh. <laughs> Why have you done this? You are a monster. This is what you get, Preston. Josh, what are you doing? No, I just finished defending from the first one. No. Literally, there's so many. I'm not going to be able to fight them all back, guys. No, Josh. Why are you doing this to me? Josh, I worked so hard on this house, and now it's literally overran by nothing but zombies. How did you even get there in the first place? Why don't you come down, you big bully? Huh? No, I'm staying up here, and I'm gonna keep getting my revenge, Preston. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> How many zombies are there? What the heck, dude? You are so mean. <laughs> well, Josh, you remember what happened one month ago, Preston? Yeah, I trolled your house, okay? Is this revenge? Is that what this is? Because literally, Josh, this is what you get. Josh, they are eating the grass. The zombies are eating the grass. You know what? Fine. I don't even care about this house because I have a much bigger and better house, and I'd like to see you do anything to harm that one. Okay, so guys, Preston claimed that he had a bigger and better house just because it has obsidian in it. But that doesn't make any sense. He's no match for this. I'm gonna get my revenge by exploding this second house. As you can see here, the sign, and as soon as I flick this lever, his house is nothing. All right, guys, check this out. There's no way Joshua's gonna be able to take this house down. Look, I've got an obsidian fence over here. First of all, the house is bigger. It's more orange. It looks like Preston Styles merchandise, which you guys should go check out. Link down below in the description. We got all kinds of new products that just came out. Then check it out. Even got the fire logo on the carpet floor over here. I got a TV. This house is set up. Even got a double bed. I mean, it's looking pretty fabulous if I do say so myself. I mean, like, look at this chest and everything. It's just it's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Wait. What the? Josh? No. 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 My Josh. Josh. You got to be kidding me. Why did Preston... Josh? Preston? You're up there again? I literally, guys, I just checked that spot and Josh was not up there. That all is, how did you get there, Josh? How do you keep doing this? This is what you get, Preston. What do you mean this is what I get? I only blew up your house a few times, okay? What the heck? Okay, and this will this will help you know to not do it again because you know what's going to happen. So never test me again. Never test my houses again. If you say sorry, I won't mess with any of your new houses. No way, man. Look, 
Look, you might have thought that you could break into this house. I'll give it to you. The TNT command block's pretty fancy, but this next house, there's no way you're gonna be able to do damage to it. If you think I'm gonna apologize to you, you got something else coming, you little, little, little brother. Look at this new place, guys. I even have bigger, better obsidian built walls here. And look at this house. This is probably my favorite house yet. Joshua better not do anything to mess with this house because I've been working tirelessly on this house. Like, yeah, of course I've got creative mode, but still doesn't mean I didn't put a lot of hard work and effort into this. It's very modern. In fact, if you guys watched, you know, Infinity War, Marvel movies, Iron Man, to me, this kind of looks like a Tony Stark house. Like, it looks like the Iron Man crash pad. And, like, I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour about it really fast. If you come through the front door, as you can see, much more improved on my previous house. I even have an aquarium here with fish. I've got all kinds of storage. Even have a kitchen down here, a couch with a better TV. And if we go up here, I'll show you guys a little bit more. Wait, what's, what's that? What's that sound? What's that sound? What's that say? What is that? Guys, I wasn't even- I wasn't even finished showing you guys the house. This is one of my- Josh? Oh my gosh, Josh just snuck into my world again. What is happening? Why is there TNT? This better not be coming towards my house. No, 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 no. I even put bigger, better obsidian walls this time. No, it's a moving- Josh, there is no way you built this. This is what you get for not apologizing. I told you there would be consequences. Okay, how was I supposed to know that you were able to build a floating... What is this? It's like a floating sky TNT cannon. This is ridiculous. No, no, I just spent so much time on this house, guys. Oh, it's all about that babe, Rowan. <laughs> no! Josh! Okay, you know what? I am not letting this discourage me. I am gonna build an even bigger, better, more secured house. You do realize you're about to kill a lot of innocent fish, huh? You realize that? You do realize that you never told me sorry. Well, yeah, I'm the older brother. Older brothers don't... Oh my gosh, Josh, you just blew up on my fish! You are so mean! <laughs> Preston. You are a toy! Guys, Preston thinks just because he has bedrock on his house that I can't do anything about it. He doesn't know that I'm going to explode the top of his house with TNT. And in just in case the TNT explode doesn't work, I have speed, invisibility, and a lot of spawn eggs. Check it out, guys. Bedrock obsidian house and just in case joshua thinks he can drop tnt on my roof again check out my ceiling made of bedrock and obsidian so there's no way he's gonna be able to get inside of here not a flipping chance and if you look at this i got another tv once again an even better kitchen and a giant bookshelf of amazingness plus i've got a little secret bedroom in the back over here if you know what i'm saying what the <laughs> Nice try, Josh. I've got bedrock and obsidian on my roof, so you can't do nothing to blow my house up. How does that feel, huh? Uh, yeah, you can say all that, but is your house mob-proof? What? What? Where did Joshua's name tag just go? Um, Josh? No. No, what are you doing? Wait, the front door? Wait, oh, no, 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 I didn't lock the front door. Josh? Josh? What is that? Is that a creeper? No, Josh, Josh, Josh! You gotta be... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Where did you even get those spawn eggs? No! Get rid of these creepers! No! Josh, you're gonna blow up my house! Josh, you... Oh, I am so mad at you now. You know what, Josh? Good luck on getting any V-Bucks. You have wither skeleton spawn eggs, too? What the heck is going on? My house is literally completely destroyed from the inside out. Oh! Ha, 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 ha. You know what, Josh? Yeah, you think you're funny. You think you're sneaky, don't you? You think you're so sneaky. Yeah, you just blow yourself up with a creeper, you big dummy. I'd rather blow myself than not lose my house. Oh, uh, you know what? Get in that hole. Get in the... No, no, get in the hole. Get in the... You know what? You just... Uh, Josh, there will come a time where you have a house again, and I will troll it. At last, the perfect house. There is literally virtually... No way Joshua could do anything to this house. And you might be wondering why. Well, look, I have a lava moat specifically designed to keep my little brother out. I've got trapdoors over here so we can't enter the house. 
and place any kind of monsters. The floor is made of bedrock, and I even have the walls and ceiling made of bedrock as well. You just can't see it because I decided to cover it up with wood because, you know, bedrock doesn't look the best or anything like that. But look at this beautiful and magnificent house. It's small and cozy, but it's a perfect dorm room for one. And as the king of the castle, I'm going to be the only person living here. Sorry, Brianna. But I just think it's so beautiful and so sweet. I am in love with this house. So Preston built this house, and I got to admit, it doesn't look too bad, but it is no match for the Joshify button. You guys and I, of course, are going to love this, but Preston, not so much. All right, guys, just maybe do a little bit of redecorating in this bookshelf and what? What just happened? What? Just, no. No. Wait, what? Wait. Josh's bed? Sweet dreams? No. No. Home sweet home jo Josh, what did you do to my house? What did you do to my house? Now it's my house. Josh, what do you mean this is your house? Turn around. What? What? Oh my. What did you do to my beautiful house? No, it's so ugly now. Oh gosh, Josh, what did you do? What have you done? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, Josh, what are you doing? No are more you, lava. What? No more trapdoors. My this, bed. This is my, my house. Chest. Josh, this is my house. This is this is not Whoa, fair. This uh, is my uh, this uh, is my house. What are you doing? Get out of what? my house. What? You just hop, hop, uh, I this behind me is Noob1234's girlfriend's house. And if you're wondering how I know this is her house, it's because Brianna found her on her YouTube channel. If you want the proof, you just have to go to Brianna's channel to watch the video so you can see for yourself. One thing I gotta admit, Floopy would fit perfectly in Noob1234's girlfriend's house. S seriously, we gotta shorten that. I'm just gonna start calling her girlfriend. I think that's just an easier way to handle it. Floopy, would you like to live here in girlfriend's house? Okay, listen, give me any more attitude, Floopy, and I will leave you right here on this piece of carpet. For the first prank, we are going to be trapping her inside of her own nether portal. This doesn't even work, okay? Her nether portal is so bad, so not only am I going to fix this for her, but I am going to prank her with it. And she also left on game mode privileges for her server, so I'm actually able just to do things in creative mode. I don't know if she actually knows how to enter creative mode, but that's a her problem, not an us problem. So let's go ahead and turn the portal on for her. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a little bit bigger just like so. Once we build this up to the required dimensions, we're gonna do it again in the nether and on the front and back side of the portal. We're gonna put purple stained glass here so we can, cause we're gonna wanna watch her, okay? When she goes inside of this, it is going to be hilarious. I've got two teleportation blocks so I can teleport to the nether as we speak. And this is what it's going to look like. So once she goes into the nether, she's gonna be really confused. And unless she has building blocks and an ender pearl, she's not going to be able to get out. And then she's gonna come back to the overworld and it's going to look like this, except I'm gonna have this blocked up. It's going to be amazing. I drank an invisibility potion and she's now looking at her portal. I should have put the front of the entrance on the other side, but I still think she's now interested enough that she's gonna go check it out. We have to be careful. We can't make any noise, okay? She's punching the obsidian. Why? <laughs> Don't punch the obsidian. Her name is girl1234. That is way better than saying noob1234's girlfriend, which was very complex. Oh, yes. Come on. Go inside, you noob. Don't put a flower down. Yes, this is perfect. Oh, she's going in. Okay, she's gone. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Here we go. Fast, fast. Yes. Wait, hold on. What is she doing in the nether right now? Yeah, she's freaking out. This is exactly how I wanted it to go. What is she doing? Well, I think it's safe to say, one, she does not know how to use game mode in her server. Oh, she's going back to the overworld. And it looks like she has no building blocks and no ender pearls. And there we go. She is completely blocked both sides, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe this worked. This is so easy to get out of. If you just had a pickaxe or an ender pearl and she's going back into the nether. Okay, there is no helping this new. I don't know about you guys, but I miss July 4th. So for this prank, I like to call it the firework prank. She's going to see this easy parkour display, which you, like, you can't fail this. It is so easy. You don't, I don't even think you need to sprint at all to complete any of this parkour. Down inside of here, we have these dispensers, which are going to be shooting off awesome fireworks. And what girl doesn't love a beautiful firework display? I mean, come on. I'm a guy, and I also love fireworks. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody likes fireworks. So we're going to put these in the dispenser. 
But in the final destination right here, there is going to be a TNT block. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to encase the stage right over here with barrier blocks so she can't jump over it and jump out. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Now we should put a sign down Finish the end to see the most amazing firework show ever. We drink our invisibility potion and lie in wait. Oh, a target has acquired the sign. She is now reading it. Okay, real talk though, if this prank manages to work, I need everybody who is watching this on their device right now to turn their device like this. Make the red subscribe button great. Okay, especially if you want to see more pranks like this. How long is she going to read this sign for? Does she really not know what a firework is? She called it a firework. Is that a furry wookie from Star Wars? Okay, if she manages to fail the parkour more than twice, I'm gonna have to put barrier blocks down so she doesn't fail the parkour. Yes? No? Okay, at least I have made it so that the water will teleport you back if you fail, but this is starting to get ridiculous. I'm about to start teleporting her. Stop looking down. You can't make parkour jumps and all you do is look down. Why is she now looking up? <laughs> this is not a part of my pranking master plan. Oh, she's about to make it to the first fireworks. Come on, the first firework dispenser. Here she goes, big jump. Yay! <laughs> Dude, that firework actually looked really cool. Oh yeah, see by now she's probably geeking out. She's thinking like, wow, this is the coolest thing since sliced gravy. Let's keep going forward. Don't go backwards. What are you doing? You need to go forwards. <laughs> okay, please go forward. There you go. Yes, the next firework is calling your name and it is going to be the same exact color. Wait, did I? Okay, I must have put in the same colored fireworks, forgive me. Oh, they're literally all pink and, okay, whatever. Here we go. She's almost, oh, come on, come on. Just a couple more jumps. Yes, yes, you can do this. One more jump, please. Yes, yes, come on, come on. Hey, oh, okay, that worked out way too well. This may be the world's most elaborate prank that I think I've ever done in Minecraft. We are going to be building a treasure map for girl one, two, three, four. So we are going to be right clicking certain areas for her to explore, which will eventually lead to her impeding doom. Well, she'll just get pranked. Okay, nothing bad will happen to her, but if we right click her house, that is where I want the first part of the treasure hunt to start. Then the second one we're gonna wanna do is her nether portal. And as you can see, the map is continuously evolving, which like I said, this is insane. I am going to great lengths to prank her. The third place we want her to inspect is this ravine. Moving along, we have Noob 1234's head over here with a heart above it. Uh, don't, don't ask any questions, okay? And then once she goes here, we want her to go all the way around this mountain into the entrance of the secret bunker which is our final destination and now that this is set up she'll know exactly where to go and we're gonna go inside the secret bunker I know it's kind of a big secret bunker okay I did not make a small secret bunker this is where we're gonna be putting down the red dress that of course as any girl one two three four look how big this thing is this thing is like it's bigger than me <laughs> <laughs> this is massive. It kind of looks like the red Preston Styles pizza fire hoodie I'm wearing right now, which you should totally go check out at PrestonStyles.com. So now, what we have to do is we need to set the trip wire hooks. Don't ask me how, but I have fixed the dress, all right? Now we are going to put down our little trip wire hooks over here with the string. Yes. Yes, and I'm not going to tell you what happens, okay? That would spoil the prank. But now we need to go deliver this beautiful treasure map to her mailbox. The world's most ugly mailbox, ladies and gentlemen. Treasure map has been delivered, and <laughs> the only doorbell we have is a giant bell, so we are just going to spam this and hope she hears it. Okay, I think this is good. Let's get out of here. We are waiting at the entrance of the bunker. Knowing girl one, two, three, it might take 10 years for her to figure out the treasure map, and I tried to make it as easy as possible. So while we are waiting for the noob one, two, three, four girlfriend, if you guys could do me a favor, go to my Instagram page, help me reach 2 million followers. We're at 1.1 million right now, and I really want to hit 2 million before the end of the year. That would be huge. Um, and now we pretty much, yeah, we're just gonna sit here and we're going to wait because I don't even see her name tag anywhere, so I don't know how long this is gonna take. But thankfully, we have the magic of editing. Bye!
magic of editing has saved us. Here is girl one, two, three, four. Oh, I see that treasure map in your hand, girl. You must have picked up that treasure map. What you doing? What you doing? No. Oh, no. Oh, she sees the dress. She's like, yes, this is what I've wanted. Come on, take the bait. Take the bait. <laughs> Oh my gosh, literally the oldest trap in the book, ladies and gentlemen, so much so that I just fell through it myself. Look, at that's actually massive. Like, nobody is surviving this. It's not like two blocks open up, it's like, that's like 10 blocks. That's kind of insane. I think I went a little bit overkill on girl one, two, three, four, and now I kind of feel bad. So, you know how I said I was feeling bad for girl one, two, three, four? Well, this prank is kind of next level. We, um, we have a crafting bench, and we also have an empty box. And inside of this empty box, it is specially created to hold not only a spider spawn egg, but also a wither rose, and also a fire charge. <laughs> so when she opens the box, a spider's gonna spawn, she's gonna get the wither effect, and she probably will most likely get set on fire. I don't know whether to call myself a genius or an evil mastermind. <laughs> Sorry, too far. It's even called a housewarming present because, of course, she's new to the neighborhood. <laughs> I, I feel so bad. I can't help it. It's the inner prankster in me, okay? Look how big this present is. It's like bodacious on my screen. Look, oh my gosh. It's so big. Okay, I was going to leave her a book, but I think the present is going to do us the perfect amount of justice. Okay, now I just need to make sure that she actually opens it up. It's time to ring the doorbell, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh come on. Come, there she is. Yes, take the box. Whoa, wait, don't open. Oh my gosh, if she opens it inside, it might light her entire house on fire because it's made of wood planks. Okay, wait, wait, I'm starting to regret this. And she's got wool inside. Oh, this could be so bad. Oh no, oh no. She even has these, what are these called? I forget what they're called. Scaffolding, that's what they're called. She's geeking out in the chat now. Oh, I can't feel so bad. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh! Okay, thank God it did not set her house on fire. <laughs> Why is she wa She's killing the spider with the campfire. I'm kind of in- What am I watching right now? <laughs> the spider has like no interest in her. Speaking of fire, this next prank is almost as diabolical as the last one. We have rainbow sheep. Right? Everybody loves rainbow sheep. They're cute and they're fluffy. But these rainbow sheep are not necessarily so cute and fluffy. I mean, they still are very cute, but what happens when you add a rainbow sheep spawn egg with a fire charge? It, it creates a rainbow flaming sheep. You can't place them down on anything but iron. So if I place this down over here, everything would catch on fire and the world would burn. So I'm gonna place down about 10 of these or so. And of course, as a girl, one, two, three, four, she's going to want to open this and come cuddle with them. But unfortunately, she might meet her fiery demise. Free rainbow sheep for cute <laughs> girls. <laughs> oh man, there's something wrong about this, guys. Oh no, there she is. She's, she's gonna open the gate. She's, I would open the gate. Would you open the gate? Comment if you would open the gate. I know you would, because I know I would open the gate. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Part of it's already catching on fire. She's letting them out. Oh, here they go. Oh my gosh. No, no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I did not expect this much destructive power. Oh no. No, 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 no. This has gone wrong. I, I, uh, seriously, I did not mean for this to happen, guys. Wait, they're heading for her house. No. No, 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 no. Can I kill the sheep? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to, there's too many. There's too many sheep and it's heading directly for her house. The entire world is literally being caught on fire as we speak. No, the flames, they're reaching to her house. There is nothing we can do to stop this. Oh my gosh, it's gonna burn. There's nothing we can do to save this. Even her four flowers in the front of her house are going down. No, no, and she left her door open so the sheep are going inside. Oh man. Oh, okay. Cut, cut this, this is too much. For this next prank, we have a pot of gold in the middle of the jungle. And as we all know, noobs can't resist treasure. They can't resist gold, diamonds, all these beautiful things they love. But unfortunately, at the end of this rainbow, it's not your average pot of gold. There are these living gold blocks. Yes, they are literally living. 
if we grab ourselves a diamond pickaxe, go into game mode zero, and attempt to mine these, they will then come alive and all start attack- and they deal a lot of damage! Like, they deal a substantial amount of damage, and there's only five of them, and I plan on putting a lot of living gold blocks for girl one, two, three, four, and I'm pretty sure the poor girl's not even gonna come armed, so she's literally not going to stand a chance whatsoever. But they are killable. As you can see, I got rid of them. I did lose a lot of hearts, but they're not impossible to kill, but for girl one, two, three, four, they're impossible. All right, I think I want to do like a nice, let me see, okay, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it the right way. All right, we're gonna try to be organized, if at all possible. I'm not a very, I'm not a very organized person, as you all probably know, but I can still try to make this look decent. Uh, it already looks pretty scuffed. Don't judge me. We're already off center. Hey, you get the point, okay? Now we're gonna fill it in with a ton of these blocks. I don't want to hear anything in the comments about how this looks ugly, okay? It, it is what it is, all right? It is what it is. Oh, man, this is so much living gold blocks. This is going to be bad for... This is going to be so bad for her. I'm literally worried. I'm actually worried for her life. I can't believe I would say that, but I'm actually worried for her. And, you know, we got to make it look irresistible. So we're going for that, like, nice kind of pyramid stacking block effect look when you stack everything up. And it looks just so nice. You can't resist it. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. Look at that. Yeah, that, that looks amazing. Basic. You, you, you want to mine it no matter what. It's a stretch, but I think she'll read the sign and she'll actually believe it. Free gold at the end of the... The pot? I did. <laughs> what else do we say? I mean, there's like really nothing else to say. Uh, maybe we'll just add in a cute little I promise. No, I can't say I promise. I would feel too bad because technically I'm breaking a promise and a man is only as strong as his words. No, <laughs> guys, she brought a wooden pickaxe. Why, it says gold. Why would you bring a wooden pickaxe if you are trying to, uh, did she survive that? She, <laughs> okay, maybe I should add some water or like something for her because I feel awful. I have built for her a puddle of water. There is no way she can miss this. She still came back and brought another wooden pickaxe. What are you doing? If you miss this, no, you jumped too far. I can't. What am I supposed to do with her? I don't even feel bad for her anymore, okay? She, she is just the biggest noob in the world. Oh, here it is. This is where all havoc is about to be released. Yeah, she's, she's, she's got dual wielding wooden pickaxes. I have never seen this before and I am not even upset. Dude, it's gonna take her, really? It's going to take her 10 years to mine through this first gold block. Come on, girl, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's gonna break. She's gonna break it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, look at all of these blocks chasing her. Right. I've never seen something so incredible in my entire life. Look at her. <laughs> She's gonna have to fight. You can't outrun the blocks. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> okay. Once again, look at the blocks. They're like, what do we do now? Oh, I'm so glad I built this and did not put a ladder here. So they are going to be stuck here forever. Don't worry. I promise to treat you well, blocks, and feed you once a month. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I have this custom thing called a super dispenser, which launches everything inside of the dispenser all at once. It's pretty much the best thing since sliced toast. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing it down. But this time, we actually have a super dispenser activator. Before, I needed them to walk over a pressure plate or tripwire, but now I've got a remote control, which makes life infinitely easier and better. This may be our best prank of all time. So I've mined this area out, as you guys can already tell. And this is where we're going to put a lot of diamonds, like just spread them out in the area. I got to make it look believable, okay? I can't have them too close to each other, and we can't have too many, but we also can't have too few. It's got to be believable. I mean, this is a lot of diamonds, okay? If I saw this, I would freak out. Now here comes the fun part. This is where we are going to set up our super dispensers in basically what I like to call a crossfire. Oh man, we're gonna put them all down on this side. Do we even want, do we want a double crossfire? Yeah, I think we want a double crossfire. We definitely want a double crossfire. This is too much. This is, this is gonna be so many super dispensers shooting at once. Oh my gosh, what have I done? And then now, okay, the, the only boring part, 
Filling them each with arrows will take some time, but don't worry, the magic of editing. I am so glad I'm in game mode because otherwise I would definitely get caught in this crazy crossfire. Hold on, do I see our noob? Ah, I do. <laughs> she's mining iron. There's all this diamond here and she's mining iron. You can't help somebody who don't want to be helped, ladies and gentlemen. You just can't. Come on. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, she's probably... Yeah, she's absolutely in heaven right now seeing all these diamonds. Oh, I'm gonna let her mine a few. Wait, she's got a wooden pickaxe. She can't even mine them. You know what? Release the Kraken. Yo! Oh my... Gosh. Oh, this worked out. This is this work. This is too good. Um, okay. Uh, we might have froze the Minecraft server. Holy guacamole. What have we done? Goodbye, everybody.